So on the show a couple weeks ago, we were talking about just how incredible Anthony Davis is. He's yeah. been the superhero for the Pelicans since Boogie Cousins went down. And the guys who were sitting up here with me kept insisting Davis had worked his way into the MVP conversation, mm -hmm. which I get, right? I mean, it sounds right. That is indeed the expression we normally plunk down when we want to talk about the handful of players who are wowing us this season. Guys like AD, Damian Lillard, as always, LeBron James. Mm -hmm. With that crew of players has done, how they stack up against each other, it's a really good conversation. In fact, we're going to have it later on the show, actually. But it's not the MVP conversation, because the MVP of 2018 has been decided. And barring James Harden tripping over someone's cat that's what came up and with? missing the rest of the season, <laughs> I'm sorry, I do think that's the only way. There's really nothing any of these other guys can do to steal it away from him. And that frankly, it's been the case for a couple months now. There's all the basic numbers we always lean on, right? Harden leads the league in scoring. He's top three in assists. He's got more three-pointers than anyone. He's still okay, never going to win Defensive Player of the Year. But, but he's, he's at least active enough yeah. now on that side of the ball. It's not going to derail him. And then, of course, he's got those signature MVP moments. Remember how relentless he was in January when nearly half the Rockets were out injured and he responded with the first ever 60-point triple-double in NBA history? Did all this and then, of course, sealed it with, what else? The step back three. Then there was February when we had that crossover on oh. Wesley Johnson. Oh, he's still on the ground. I'm sorry, Wes. He still hasn't this got on TV yet. again. But come on, the man didn't just give that pitying stare. He actually <laughs> licked his lips. <laughs> <laughs> so brutal. <laughs> and then last night, another signature game against a oh. legit Portland team that had won 13 in a row. And look, the Blazers have a top 10 defense this season. But they simply had no answer for Harden, who, have who a cat? often, yeah, right. <laughs> he did. It looks like a cat that plays with the What's the cat stuff before today? it counts. His producer Mamu got really excited about the cats today. But it's true, he really does. He's like a cat with a ball on the string. Uh -huh. His ability to turn any amount of space into separation. I mean, it's almost allowed him to single-handedly make ISO ball fashionable again. And yes, that step back three. It has become really almost as dominant as a dunk from Shaq in his prime. Except Harden's version is worth three points. Mm -hmm. By the time he was done at the Moda Center, the Rockets had tightened their grip on the NBA's number one overall seed, an important factor in MVP. And Mike D'Antoni, a man who played against Kareem, who coached Kobe Bryant and Steve Nash, a man intimately familiar with the careers of Michael Jordan and LeBron James, pronounced James Harden, quote, the best offensive player I have ever seen. Hmm. Now that is quite a statement. And you could <laughs> argue over that for a while. Does D'Antoni really have a case or not? Just don't bother to, bother to argue over MVP. That conversation is closed. So Stack, accordingly, I'm not gonna make you sit here and justify why James is the MVP. We just right. watched a bunch of video, but I do wanna talk about the rest of the ballot because it's not, in my mind, the MVP conversation, but it's a good conversation. Who else fills out that ballot for you? Well, me, LeBron, of course, he's in the talks every year. You know, definitely James, James is leading, but LeBron is- All right, so, so James is number one on your James ballot. I got James at the top. I got LeBron a close second. Hmm. And sit in the year he's having, he's down. Close second. Yeah, close second. He's Ooh. look what he's doing, man. He, the numbers he's, he's putting up every night. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta commend it. You gotta applaud that. And Anthony Davis, the numbers he's putting up, even stepping up even more after Boogie went down, shows the year he's having. And uh, I just, I just think he's having the MVP season for sure. I, I don't think you can be MVP if your team is as bad as the Cavs were in December, January. Hmm. And that's that's not his fault, right? But I just say I think consistency. Is, is big for me. Okay, right. but you're not talking about MVP anymore. Oh, okay, well, and even in the conversation, as we, we suss out the different the guys. Different By the way, I want, I want to say this right now. James Harden might be the second unanimous MVP we have in NBA history. Because you need to find me the person, the, the potential voter out there who's saying, I don't know about Harden yet. Max Kellerman right, get on TV right. this morning. Max ain't, a, the, Max ain't a voter. Davis. Max, you're not a voter. Yeah. <laughs> you stick to uh, first take. No, but he, did, he did make the Anthony Davis argument. Look, I will say Alvin Gentry, Anthony Davis' coach, no, said James Harden's the MVP. Okay. Well, yes, no question. But I mean, th th that's what I'm saying. I, I, this, guy, this guy should be and probably will be a unanimous MVP. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the conversation, as you said, is over. And if there was any glimmer of hope for guys like Damian Lillard, who, who should be on a ballot. I was going to say, so ne none of the two of you have Damian Lillard. I, I, if, you, if it was five, if you asked me to vote for five, Lillard would be on there, uh, and so would, uh, so would LeBron. But he asked me three. DeMar DeRozan, I don't think he gets enough credit. The guy changed his game. Mm -hmm. He reconstructed the way he plays basketball at an all-star level. Mm -hmm. He was already all-star, perennial, he's all-star every year. Put it in pen. And the guy, 
sat there with his coach and his GM, and they said, it's got to change. That's hard to do, but he's done it, and he's been tremendous at it, and the team has been better than ever. And I think that takes a lot of guts to be able to change your game. So that's why he's high up on my list. And obviously, Anthony Davis, we all thought the Marcus Cousins goes down. Mm -hmm. Hey, it was a great year. Too bad. And David said, not so fast. Uh, right. Not so fast. We, well, we right here. Right. And we're going to try to get home court advantage. And so I have a lot of respect for the adverse conditions that he's playing under and making that team not just competitive, playoff spot competitive, but actually moving up in the rankings. Mm -hmm. But again, look, they're all great players, right? What are we doing here? James got it well, locked. James, James got it locked. Okay, James but here's where I will throw out again my two awards, K's for MVP. No, 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 for no. For different reasons. Okay. This is... Listen, just uh, all right, go, go. Hear me out, America. Last year, part of the dis distinction was who had had the best season, where James Harden clearly mm -hmm. had the best statistical season versus mm -hmm. who was of value to his team or who was the best player. This year, again, you have an MVP race that most people would tell you, eh, it's not even, I mean, this hasn't been a huge discussion over the past few months. This hasn't been one of these fun parlor room games for NBA fans. You could get that back if you had what, again, the NFL has, what the NHL has, which is they split out Who's had the best season? What is the best statistical Never. offensive player of the year award versus who is the most valuable player in the league? Because would you say that James Harden is the most valuable player in this league? Yeah. Differently from he's had the best season? Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think he, he, this year he's... You think yeah. he's the best player in the league? This year he's been the best player in the league. This year. He's not the best player in the league, but he's having the best year. Well, What's see, that's... Like, I agree with you on what that. Does that so like, what does that mean? That's different. What does that even mean? By the way, I'll never follow the NFL ideas <laughs> for anything. NFL See, does it. That should be a, a reason to not do it. Oh, that's hockey? what they do. You're gonna. Ah, I like hockey. Hockey's cool. There you go.